Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Um, I'm going to leave you with a little story, uh, if I may. Because, you see, no, this is a very, very important story I want to finish with, because, you see, there's a lot of conflict in the world, and I always think, you know, our methods of conflict resolution are quite immature, and we all know that dialogue is the most important thing. And whether it's Kosovo or Yugoslavia, dialogue is the most important thing. And we take our, <clears throat> we take our example from the Jews and Christians about 52 years ago. They said, put aside the bloodshed, let's bring forward our best scholars. Let the scholars have a debate. Whoever wins the debate wins the conflict. Okay? So it's a wonderful thing. We had 10,000 Jews, 10,000 Christians, hot midday sun, middle of Jerusalem. Two scholars come eyeball to eyeball. They're going to have a theological debate in their own religious sign language to keep the exclusivity. It was very dramatic. It went like this. Christian opened with, Jew came back with. Christian goes, Jew comes back with. Christian pulls out a bottle of red wine and a piece of bread. Jew is rocked back, takes out an apple. Referee goes, split decision, it's gone to the Jews. Jews are jumping up and down, Christians are distraught. Explanation, Christian camp. Christian says, well, I opened the discussion by talking about God. I said, for Christians, God is everywhere. But then he reminded me that God is also here. Then I showed him the powerful symbol of the Holy Trinity. And he came back and he reminded me of the oneness of God. And there was nothing I could do. I showed him the blood and body of our Lord Jesus Christ with the red wine, the piece of bread. And he came back with the apple, the apple of the Garden of Eden, the symbol of creation itself. Everything I hit him with, he came out with something more powerful, more... The man's a genius. I'm sorry. Go to the Jewish camp and say, Sir, so hire me. Why? Because I don't know. The man's a flipping madman. <laughs> he said to me, you Jews, piss off us. I'm staying here. <laughs> he said, we give you three days to bugger off our ass. I give you bastards one day to piss off yourself. Then he starts playing mind games and shows me his lunch. I thought, sorry, I'll show him my snack. He's a madman. <laughs> And, uh, thank you. Nice story. That's how the state of Israel was formed in 1948. Uh, not true, but plausible. That's all from me. Thank you very much. Good night. You mean nothing.